Welcome to another episode of My Backyard. In this video, we go back to Port Renfro, Vancouver, British Columbia for another two days of salmon and halibut fishing with skipper Nelson Carker. You might ask, Brent, why a charter? The answer is simple. We boat-owning captains just want to catch fish without the responsibility of our own boat every now and then. Good morning, Craig. Good morning, Brent. Another beautiful day in Port Renfro. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, keep going today. Not this again. <laughs> Hey. Whoa. Good morning, Pat. Hey, good morning. Well, back at it again. Coffee. Hey, no, Coffee. Is the ship is underway. <laughs> Mark the time. Uh, I got five to five. First one out, Nelly. Yep. First one out today. Five to finish. Five to left. So what are we uh, what are we gonna do here, Nelly? Ah, uh, we're gonna start with some uh, Chinook salmon. The Americans call them king. Where are we going? Most likely Swiftsure. My old phones. Oh, what, are you thinking about something else? Text. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it would like. The fog was thick in patches this morning, and that would prove to be significant in a couple hours. Cool. But for now. Let the games begin. Yes, yes. We're on site and ready to fish. All right, so who was first and second? Holy oh. Oh. Yeah, That was the thing. Here he is right there. Behind us. All right, the youngster's up first. Oh, wow. Coming right at it. Right at it. The whales decided to make a surprise visit today but we're here to catch salmon. Until it realizes it's hooked. You still got him? Uh, yeah, I think so. Ain't very big. Well, that's the first, first bite. one. First one. We're running a friendly wager for the biggest salmon and biggest halibut. Today, order matters. Next up, John. I was like, maybe I should watch your garage. I've never been looking at him. I look over and I was like, well. A little tinky tinky. Go! Now you release. And there she go. There you go. Now it's Phil's turn. That's a big, big bubble. Hopefully it's missing a fin. Ah, yeah. When we say hopefully it's missing a fin, we mean that we hope it's a hatchery fish because we can't keep native silver or coho salmon at this time in this fishing area. The hatchery fish are marked by the removal of the adipose fin while the fish are very young at the hatchery. The adipose fin is just forward of the tail on top of the fish. Yeah, it looks like a big wild one. Unfortunately, this fish has its adipose fin and must go back. That's a big fish. Yeah, it's got some marks on it. Righty then. Hey, hey good job. job. One of the bigger ones. I'm in the lead. <laughs> Craig, is he fooling you? Craig has hooked the first big fish of the day. Keep your tip up. I'm trying to. <laughs> this is the tip. Is that your pro tip? Yeah. The Chinook or king salmon fishery is not selected, meaning we can keep both hatchery and native fish in this area at this time. Nice fish. Yay. That's it? 
Awesome. Okay, it's better. <laughs> Smells like a king. Looks like a king. Down B. He said most of his vice are on the 50 50 spoon. Oh, it might be a king head. What's a 50 50 spoon? Silver and gold. Okay. You had to use one. Says Nelstradamus. Now here's where things get scary. We've got our attention solely focused on the first double of the day you're about to see, and then things go terrible. Oh, fish on, double. Nice. John, that's you, right? Yep. A Canadian songwriter once wrote, does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? Are we keeping this? If you listen, you can hear the sound of the motor of the boat that's about to collide with us building off our port bow. That's like a trophy thing. Holy sh! Whoa, 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 whoa! The dent in Nelson's rub rail shows the power of the impact. The downrigger was pointed aft when the collision occurred and sustained minor damage, but it is still useful. If this was a glass boat, we'd be in a whole other situation. Oh, oh, it would have broke the gunnel right there. And the reason I mentioned the Gordon Lightfoot lyric was to crystallize the point that, as the first to see the impending collision, and though I had a second or two when I yelled out, Holy sh to warn the crew. Seeing the impending doom seemed to stop time for me. Luckily, the captain of the other vessel saw us with enough time to turn hard away, then shifted his rudder to minimize the tail slap, so to speak. We were lucky in that last half second. I was like, when I first, when I, when you're like, holy and like, what would we get? A king, a pink, and another boat. We now return you to the fishing part of the show. This isn't on how long it takes to land a 16-inch puppy. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> I'm like, it's gone. We're... Oh, I do believe I'm in the lead. Yeah. You might be. Good job, Brett. Good job, Brett. That hit like a shake. You know, it's that, it's that lure. Yeah. They are all on this. Thing. There we go. There you go. 
our new fish derby leader. Right after Collision Orama 2023. <laughs> right. We got us a double. It was a double, but would be a shaker and a pink. Riggers coming up, Nelson. John, you may as well grab Any the net. Any size Tell him your cameraman needs a band-aid. I got some. I skinned my knee up a little bit. Take your time, boy. I'll, I'll start, start. Little guy. Suck the poison out. Little guy. Another pink. Another pink. Yeah. I've got the best pink fight of the year. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> We're jinxing you. <laughs> Did you get a little broke loose? Yep. Uh, we got it. I'm trying to take a look and see. I think that's well, whatever it is, it's gone. Ready? Big pink. Nelson's got one. Greg, Greg. Something there. It's, it's not a, up, I think. I don't think it's a pink. Greg? I'll, I'll grab it. You know it's bad when people are fighting over not holding on to the rod. Yeah. Craig, thanks for taking one for the team. The big pink actually pulls apparently. Yeah, you rod hog. The pinks were so thick that they were inundating us. We could not get to the kings until now. Don't look over here at the down rigger. You you keep that He's tip up in the air. <laughs> He's our lookout. There's one right there. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I handed it off. I kind of thought it was by the bite. Craig. Craig. Sorry. Good, I, I feel bad now. About a quarter inch each other. Both days were good last yeah, year. Yeah. There's one. Double. Oh, double. Oh, that's probably a pain. No. What time is it? What do you think, John? There you go. Staying down. Maybe it's the world record. Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't think that way about Well, Phil would lose his fish, John brought up a keeper silver. Please tell me no. Nice. Nice. Good job, John. Good job, John. Craig, you've just hooked into your third king. What are you going to do? I don't think so. You don't? I didn't just lose it. Might it might be a trophy pink. A trophy pink?
Look at the sheer determination. That might be the big one of the day. That's, that's the fish of the day right there. Black. Definitely the hog. I got gotcha. you. Oh man. That's a nice king, bro. He was elusive. I didn't think it was that big, no, did you? No. I mean when you when you I thought maybe it was a king. Who does whose fish do I take now? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't yours. No, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he matter. didn't feel that. Hey, you landed it. That's all that matters. He didn't feel that big. Yeah, yeah. I was like, but then I was like, well, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Bring in one more uh, one more king for the day. We can bring in lots of silvers. Oh, fish, fish! Holy crap! It's heating up. You said you do you want to do a run or no? Bank. Got some uh, Chinook, Kings. Now we're gonna go try for some hell of it. Patrick has the first bottom That's fish of the day. Oh, I don't know how many, but first one. Never let go of the first one. Get some color here. Trying to go down. Turn it. Oh. Nelson, get the 12 gauge. Just uh, get the closest to the back. Don't let that thing out. There we go. What's that? Sorry. <laughs> He's going for the power stroke. That's just how my grandson reels him in. Oh, we got some color. You got a fish, John? No, just moving this back. Plug it in. Nice fish, thank you. Nice fish, Brad. Thank you, thank you. So we have all the fun ones. John's got a line now. John's got one taken line. Unfortunately, it was a skate and we let it go. Craig's getting some action here. His rod tip's popping a little. He's reaching for a two iron on this. <laughs> R4, 14th oh, yeah. hole. I think two irons the right, the right uh, club. Nelly, we got to know when to pull the trigger on this. I don't know. I want to make sure it's on. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? It's not touching the bottom. See, it's maintaining tension as we go up and down. I think he's sitting with it in his mouth. 
It is on there. General Grant was right. What was that? Once again. What was that? <laughs> you were right. You got him? Yeah. Like he said, there's a first friend. That's a huge ling. I have, that's the biggest one I've caught all year, Craig. Is it? Yep. Nice fish. You caught this? 15, 17. You got I thought one? I caught it. You caught, I'm saying it's bigger than all. I caught oh. like 20 of them. It's better than all of them. Oh, I didn't know you see you caught one. I'll take that ling cod over about any of them. Yeah. The only thing better than a good ling cod fillet, you guessed it. Sea bass. Red, sna <laughs> red snapper. <laughs> yeah, yellow eyes. All right, the uh, snapper. <laughs> yeah, red snapper. Not so much. Yellow eyes, yellow eyes slightly oh, illegal. We, got yellow eye? we were done bottom fishing and heading in for a few Dungeness crab. Hey, who's getting ready? Which side are you coming up on? Nah, this side. The starboard side. Pick up three Dungeness to go with dinner that night, and despite the potential for catastrophe, we had a pretty good time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure.